Yo, what's going on guys, my name is Xfixiate and welcome back to episode number 9 of my Arc Life series. So today's actually probably going to be the last episode on this cluster of servers. Uh, there's a bunch of reasons behind it and I'll go over it at the end of the video. Um, and I'll also go over what my plans are for future content and where I'm going to be playing next. So if you're interested in that, then please stick around to the end and I'll explain it all there. So while I was helping one of my tribe mates do boss fights on the center, one of my other tribe mates went over to do a solo grief in the dark cave on Ragnarok. This was a different tribe to the one that we'd already raided in the Dark Cave, and it just looked like a small, quick, easy solo grief, so he went over there to do that. Um, and he actually got some elements out of it, which was really good for us. I can't remember if it was 110 or 210 element, um, but it also meant that we could power a replicator, and we had a whole bunch of um, element shards that we just stashed on the server, and we didn't have any element left to turn the replicator back on, to turn it into element, to then use it to craft structures and transfer to the center. So getting this element from this raid was actually really good because it meant that we also got to use the extra 110 element worth of shards that we had stuck on the server as well. So with the element that we got from the raid, as well as the element shards that we had stashed on the server, we were able to make a tech teleporter, a tech generator, and nine tech dedicated storage boxes, which is really useful. Once I transferred the tech structures back to our main base, I decided to go for a chill solo metal farm, and I was in for a big surprise. Oh shit 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 shit. Fuck me, I just started turrets. I went over to farm with the Nanki and Anaji. I'll have to go back and grapple it out. While it was against the rules to build on Blue Obelisk and I probably could have just reported it to the admin, I figured that would take longer than me just going over and destroying it myself. So I grabbed a Stego and a rocket launcher and headed back over. Cool, those turrets are done. Those four heavies. I just walked up some of the Sego and just shot him with a rocket. Later that evening, a couple of my tribe mates wanted to go over to the Pearl Cave on the center and see if we could raid it. We'd been leveling and healing our carbos for a while and we had a lot of them stashed up, so we figured we'd have more than enough to soak their wool and get in and raid the base. Our initial plan was to just throw a whole bunch of carbos out and use their dead bodies to line of sight and hopefully get closer and closer to the turrets, but we ran into an issue where a lot of the time we would throw the cryopod out and the turtle would get hit by so many turrets that it would just instantly die. After a while, we were able to get close enough to actually tech rifle down one of their hatch frames, as well as the ceiling, which had some turrets on it, and we don't realize it at the time, but in the tribe logs later, we realize we actually destroyed their offline raid protector, which gives them three times turret damage. Uh oh. Ooh. Uh oh, spaghetti. -o. Wait, I think to tap it slowly. Wait, do you want to spyglass it and double check that you're definitely hitting it? Yeah, okay. It's not doing as much damage as I thought, but that should be a safe shot. It's fucking oh, dumb. I think every yeah. other shot is just gonna be hitting the turtle. Yeah. Unless I try some more risky angles. Oh, okay. Um, okay. That works. What is this way? Yeah. Recording this axie? Of course.
something very Glass that left hatch room and see if you did some splash damage to it. Uh, just shoot, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. What was I hitting? A ceiling. ceiling. Oh, that one's on a ceiling? Okay. Interesting. Is it better to aim? I should aim at Tignoy. Are you able to like come up behind me and spyglass it? Yeah, I'll try. You want me to spyglass the thing you're hitting? Yeah. Okay. Just make sure I'm hitting it. Yeah, hit. I'm not hitting like a turret. Okay. Yeah. 7k. 6. 5. 4.3. 3.4, 2 2.4, 1.7, 1.2, 700, 5, 3, 2, 1 hit, nice. Do you want to, is it, wait, hit a tech turret direct, see how much damage it does, because tech does more damage on tech. I don't think it's going to reach the wall. Yeah, Did you, okay, yeah, that didn't get closer. Happen. After a while, I decided that instead of using the dead bodies to line of sight and throw turtles in deep, I wanted to keep throwing turtles in at the same spot, so I started dragging the dead turtle bodies out each time, and was just throwing the turtle in the same spot every single time, and that way we were soaking the same turrets and it wasn't instantly dying. Soaking the wall this way turned out to be much more beneficial for us. I, I called it my strat. Because I, I honestly think that we were literally just throwing away turtles before when they were dying instantly. They weren't soaking as much as they should have. Oh, tech out? Look I, can't, I still can't ride it. Oh, because it's on cooldown? When you get oh, grappled, you can't ride for a while. Hard, yeah, for oh, you're insane! Wait, he's inside oh it! Oh my god, I'm stuck. Wait, I'll turn around, I'll turn around. Okay, stay there, stay, stay, stay. Oh, Ooh, eat. okay! Dude, what the fuck? Big oh brain god. plays. <laughs> What's going on? It's soaking now. <laughs> While it felt like we were making progress, it was 3 in the morning for me and we still had a lot of the wall to soak. Because we had to wait on the cryopod cooldown every single time, it was a very tedious process and while I've only shown you a few of our turtles actually soaking, we'd been doing this for hours and hours and I was exhausted so I went to bed uh, with the intention of getting up early the next morning and continuing on the raid. When I woke up the next morning, one of my tribe mates had been there throwing out Crypod solo for 4 hours, and then a second tribe mate went over and helped him for another 2 hours, and they'd finally managed to soak the whole front wall and get in.
Oh wait, no, this one has a great fire. I'm only 22 HP, but I don't know what the content. Chad and I have the same cry for timer. We can all meet right together. It'll be cute. Why you do this? Do what? I don't know. I'm innocent. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound innocent. That's like the guy who was saying he's a PvP called PvP if he's just hits that grappling. I mean, he killed so many of us, he must be insane. Oh, yeah, he, he definitely killed so many. He killed like <laughs> one naked. And the rest killed was his turrets. We, uh, we ready? Yes, we are ready. Okay. Ah, who got and fell into the water? <laughs> Not in yet. No! Uh oh, that one's raged. They're all raged. That one has a good saddle on. To your left, right? There's a ramp right here, but it won't go up it. Go up Let me try and move. Oh, juicy! Going in? Yeah, you are, bitch. No, saved. Why are you racing? I'm going in for the quad soul. Wait, I'm almost out of stamina. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs>
knocked by like a wild rex or something and it died on the spikes. Maybe. So at the beginning of the episode, I mentioned that this is probably going to be one of the last videos on this cluster. The main reason for this is just the population. Uh, the main cluster is pretty much dead and has been for a while. Uh, we were sort of hoping that the beginner servers would bring some more people in, but the admins made some questionable decisions with like what maps are on the beginner servers and like rules and whatever settings. And you know, it just hasn't really brought any population in unfortunately. So I'm gonna be leaving the Arclife cluster for the time being. My plan is to go and play on MTS, which is going to be pretty exciting. Obviously, it's very tryhard, very sweaty. Uh, there's no promises that we won't just get wiped on day one, but we'll see what happens. Uh, they've got a new mini cluster coming out called MTS Classic. So it's more like ground focused PVP. Uh, you don't have all the tech structures. There's like limited maps, uh, etc, etc. So I'll put some information on what to expect on the screen. Um, and if you want to go check out the rules or MTS Discord, both the links are down in the description below. So yeah, it should be interesting. I'm playing with a full random tribe from the recruitment channel. So none of us have played together before. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. It should be a fun experience. Hopefully we get some good content. So yeah, definitely keep an eye out for the MTS series. That's it for this video though. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.